What is up, guys? I have gotten this question so much about what kind of tank is that? How do you make one of those? Well, today we're gonna learn how to make a stock tank into this exact tank that we just did. This is the finished product. Um, but first, I gotta give a special uh, shout out and thank you to, this, to the sponsor of this video. Fresh news, Vikings just went through a really massive update with new RPG elements and a new hero. You gotta check it out. If you remember this, these top strategy and RPG games of the 1990s and like the 2000s, which we were all crazy about as kids, you definitely gotta check out Vikings. Uh, the game gives you an option to choose your own play style, which is sweet. Um, and you get to you know do stuff like building an impenetrable city and raise economy. Um, and use and master your diplomacy skills to rule the world or just gather around with your friends, uh, build a huge army, and destroy other enemy castles, which is kind of my favorite part. I think that's pretty cool, getting to destroy a castle. Um, you gotta go try Vikings. Just play it for five minutes, and you're gonna see why me and 12 million other people are so addicted to this game. Uh, so grab your axe or your phone or whatever and go play some Vikings. It's totally free, and you can find me there uh, under Brian636, and uh, come play with me. Support, support my channel and download Vikings from the links below in the description, and get your initial protection shield for free, and my special bonus of 200 gold for a fast and successful start. So guys, if you wanna help build uh, my channel and support the channel at all, this is your opportunity. The link's right in the description, um, and I'd appreciate a lot. So let's get into this tank build. So you guys want to make your stock tank look like a stunt tank without sending it out to the fabricator and welding it up and everything like that? Hey, this is one of my favorite ways to make them. <laughs> it takes a little bit of brunt force, but uh, and I know it might be a little bit hard to say goodbye to your beautiful stock tank that holds, you know, what is it, three something gallons down to like one and a half. But um, if you guys are serious about stunt riding, this is something that you're going to end up doing. I Personally, um, I run a, uh, a fabricated tank, but I love dented tanks, so I wanted to dent this one. Um, so let's get right into it, guys. Uh, here are the tools of the trade. It's uh, you know pretty basic. We got a little bit thinner metal hammer, um, the bigger uh, rubber mallet, and then you know a couple of big metal ones, and then your HT Moto uh, that goes on after. So. So this should be pretty obvious of what I'm about to do. Um, we just want to form a lip back here and uh, more space to sit uh, sit on right here. So we're going to be forming from the, the inside out, pretty much pushing it out. So we're going to be dropping down right on the, fr right on the front here uh, to start off with with the big guy. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with the big boy. I know some guys do this with like concrete blocks and everything like that and just start dropping it down. But uh, we basically want to just start slamming this down to start forming uh, forming the dent and making sure we're watching for creases because a crease is what is going to bend over and cause your tank to, to leak. So let's get into it. Man, it sucks seeing this mini thing screwed up already. So if you have a full tank like I do too, you might also want to, I know this might be earlier or a little late, keep opening and closing it. Let's see if we can even open it. Oh God. See, there you go. Um, you want to make sure that sometimes uh, the pressure builds up in there. Um, and basically you want to make sure that you don't have too much gas in there that it's not going to let it dent. So we're going to keep opening and closing it throughout this um, and letting vapors escape and making sure that it's not too, uh, not too deep, so. Okay, so see we're starting to develop a crease right here. Just start moving away from it and just not pounding your lip directly on it so it doesn't break. It's like this, warm it outward. Don't worry. 
worry about if it's just the clear coat and the paint either you're gonna have paint dents and paint chips so I'm sure I'm gonna edit a lot of this pounding out so we'll just keep going but you're gonna keep forming it backwards um, and I definitely also I totally forgot to say I recommend a center stand so you can make sure that you can have an eye over your tank um, and basically make sure it's even on both sides so So as you can see, we're kind of working our way out to the sides here. I just want to give all the tanks some love. Some of that center love. Jeez. So maybe you've gotten to a point like this where it is, you know, starting to crease. Um, don't worry. Once again, just paint chips. As long as you have your HT Moto, don't be afraid of all this uh, paint chips coming this way and that way. Might want to use your metal hammer when you're coming towards this back lip because you want this to be kind of more of an aggressive. Basically, fast forward a few hours here. Um, one of these little creases that we were hammering on um, did turn into a, a minuscule crack right here. Um, but we went really generous with this quick steel because um, it lets you build up more of a lip in spots like that. Um, basically, you can get this at any, you know, auto zone, anything like that. Um, and if you are planning on stunt riding, I definitely always have some around because these tanks do uh, start to crack after so much pounding and pounding and pounding of a full man's body weight on it um, with the corrosive properties of gasoline as well it you know your ht moto starts to chew away and you can develop cracks in your gas tank which are minuscule leaks so basically it, it's pretty much like a bondo that's that you can form make sure it's nice and smooth before you put the ht moto on and that way you can make your lip up here too just how you want so this little bit of lip right here we formed it up there. I'm sorry I forgot to add this to the parts list. At the beginning of the video, it is gold though, quick steel. Um, it sets in like five minutes and cures in an hour. So just leave it overnight. And then uh, reinforce, I like to reinforce right around here, right around the gas lid with it as well. Um, basically, the, um, from all the hammering, you might notice just a little itty bitty crack in between there and uh, where, it, where it sets the gas cap. Just reinforce it with this stuff. It'll guarantee that it's not gonna not gonna leak. So I'm gonna get done sanding this to exactly how I want it, and then we'll get on to the step that makes it look like a stunt take, throwing on that HT Moto traction grip. So we're gonna go ahead, make sure we get a nice smooth finish so it has a good uh, good surface to cling to. Clean it off with some alcohol, and uh, yeah, just like that, we'll get back to you guys. So as you can see, we took the uh, alcohol, wiped it all down, made sure there's no debris or anything like that from sanding. It's a nice smooth finish, almost like, you know, ready the, ready the paint on top. Um, you just want a nice smooth place for that uh, 3M adhesive stuff that's on the back of this HG Moto to adhere to. Um, it, it basically, you know, lets it cling to a smoother surface if it's not all you know bumpy and, and rigid and stuff like that but this is the time that you want to jump into the tank um test <laughs> test it out make sure this lip's good enough for you this build up's good enough for you and locks you in because at the end of the day this is going to be what's what uh what's holding you guys in on your on your wheelie so this lip right here is enough so i like the way this bowl looks i think it's deep enough good enough i think we're going to send it so we're gonna go ahead, get this uh, traction pad ready to go and uh, get at it. All right, so we've got your traction pad here. It comes with this adhesive stuff on the back. You just remove it all at once. It's really sticky, so try not to let it touch anything and actually press it down too hard um, unless you want it to stick. So just be delicate with it. Nice and easy. That. I forgot to mention, we already had pushed it down. This is what's with these bends. We made sure to push it down into the tank. Um, 
and let it form a little bit. And you always want to start from the inside first. So when I say from the inside first, you don't want these guys touching like that. So get a side out and push down on the inside right in here. Make sure this sits for seats first. So make sure you get right in here first. Because this is the part that's going to have the most traction on it. You got to think this is what's holding in your, your rear end. So make sure it's all pressed in here nice and firm. And then work your way out. So this is all good. And don't worry about your gas cap being covered. That's so easy to figure out. Um, and just take a razor blade too. So just like this. Right around the brim. Make sure it get a nice press down on all of it. Take your time with this because I know a lot of guys, including me, um, don't have a lot of this HT Moto to kind of go around because it is a little bit more pricey. I keep calling this HT Moto. This is this is the pad from Cox Stunt Parts. It's a little bit cheaper, but still, it's it's not cheap. Oh, just like that around your around your cap. You guys are gonna be pressing a lot on this stuff. <laughs> So just press 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 make sure it goes around the brim and then it's up to you how much um how much access you want to leave on the sides or not if you want your whole tank's color showing or not um i, I try to be generous with it because sometimes it, it peels off but all right so there you go you can see the total outline of the tank from right there you can see where we worked in this is the only part that you really need to be concerned about with it sticking. So now we got that done. We got an awesome lip on this thing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna probably trim some of the outside here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my sweet time with that with a with a razor, real slow. Uh, the longer you take with this, the better of a result you're gonna have. So I suggest you guys take your time. So take your time, make it look good. And other than that, we're, we're almost done besides one last thing, and that's pounding out your cap to be able to get gas in your tank. So, All right, guys, so our tank looks great. Um, nice, good wrap. Um, cut off all the access. Made sure it's sticking on both sides. It looks good. I like how it's still, uh, you can read Kawasaki partly on both sides. That looks kind of cool. So um, basically, we cut out, the, cut out the tank thing here, too. So... All right, you get on your bike, you're riding, you um, you go to put some gas in it, and um, you might have you might have a little bit of a problem. There's nowhere to put your gas. See that? There's like, there's nowhere. So this right here is the most kind of like dangerous part of it. Um, this is when you can seriously, seriously screw up your bike. These are the two tools you're gonna need next. You're gonna need a flathead and a hammer. And basically you're gonna be taking this flathead and moving around the brim in here on the lower part of it, and you're gonna pound it out. Um, you're gonna pound out this inside part of it. So um, basically you're gonna put your screwdriver right here first, just lightly make sure if you go through the bottom part of this tank at all, this tank's screwed. So you can't really just do a water wetter on this one it's, or a JB weld type of thing on this one. So stick it in there. This is not something you want to screw up. So. Come on. So there you go. During this one little hole like that. Now you want to do these holes all around the brim here until um until you think that that's enough room for some fuel to move in there. But make sure you do not go past that one layer or else it's gonna be a bad day. All right guys, so this is your end product. Um, plenty of room, you can fit your whole finger back in there. So plenty of room for gas to get back in there. Um, just pound it out the back. Took some time, take your time. Um, make sure none of those metal pieces 
um, fly into the gas tank, you know, like some of the scraps. If they do, not the end of the world, you'll have to drain the gas tank, but uh, try to catch them. The big, big concern here is that you don't go through this layer of gas tank. So and just be, uh, make sure you go in it across like that. And that way you have a nice big hole trimmed out there. So, hey guys, um, I appreciate you guys watching this build. Um, I cannot wait to jump on this 636. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and once you guys are done with your stunt tanks, next thing to do, just jump on them, uh, go test it out. You should already have been pretty comfortable with the lip that you made uh, before, but make sure it doesn't leak, of course. And if it does, um, go to get some quick steel and uh, seal up these, uh, these little seams and stuff like that. But if this video helped you guys at all, make sure to give it a like. Um, Make sure you guys leave in the comments what you guys want to see next um, on this full 636 build. Um, and if you guys are enjoying the channel, make sure you uh, tell your friends about it and um, put, it, put it in one of your playlists. So maybe you guys can go back when you guys are building your stunt bikes and um, successfully do it. So if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, leave it in the comments. As always, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, and uh, riding safe. Peace.